Hello everybody, welcome back to today's Rise of the Gingerbreads Football Manager Let's Play series video where we're kicking off with a match against Notts County which is very, very important because we only need one point to secure the league championship, the league title. If we can get a point in this match, we will be crown champions and we will be heading to the football league next season. So I think we should do it. We're one point away. Next match only. Let's go balanced. Hit early crosses. We'll go for opposition instructions. Team selection. Uh, let's go for a quick pick. You've got Shepard on the left wing. Scarlet and Moore. Um, Jimmy Seaside arrest. Ramey is, is, is fit, um, but he's not fit, fit, fit. So he's not going to feature for us, which means, unfortunately, Scarlet and Moore are going to have to play the entire match again. Um, but there we go. Submit team. Proceed to match. Let's go out there, get the point we need, let's get promoted, and then let's worry then about the, the FA Trophy semi-final game against Barrow and the FA Cup semi-final game against Tottenham. That is our prime culture. The rest of the league matches... But the rest of the matches don't matter after that. Um, uh, so... I write off the rest of the league matches. We turn our attention then to uh, getting um, the club built ready for league football. Last thing I'd want to do is get relegated straight away <laughs> from League Two. I mean, it's going to be a tough league. We probably won't win it first season, I shouldn't imagine. At some point, we would have to out a run of consecutive promotions will stop okay he's captain scarlet oh doesn't look like we've got a sell out crowd here which is a bit of a shame for a a um league match against a club like Notts County, but I suppose Notts County have really fallen down. I, I still think of Notts County as being like a like a, 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 a championship league one team. Um, I, I, I can't believe they're non-league now. You know, I just, how far some clubs have fallen in the, the recent years. It's amazing to me. The you know, clubs that were premiership clubs are now like, you know, League Two. And it's like, well, how did you become so bad? What went wrong? Notice that we're not playing Dan Bartlett. Hmm. Is he on the bench? Still win this one. All right. uh, let's have a look at tactics. Uh, yeah, Bartlett is on the bench. He should probably be coming on. Shepard's having a bad game, so let's switch Potts over to Shepard. Let's temporarily move Rolls out to there. Let's bring Baller on in what could be his one of his last appearances for the club, because he's still um, open to... Uh, 
he's still open. He's still negotiating with um, Middlesbrough. So we do have that situation to kind of deal with. Uh, we we still got Jack Stobbs to bring on if we do need a... Um, try and really boost them for this second half we need a goal and I think Reme would have got us it if he would, was playing Riley with the long throw straight to the keeper spent he needs to come off Kiefer Moore needs to come off too right so here's the last two substitutes then for today Motore for Jack Rolls that's not going to work is it because Motore is a left sided player so switch them back no 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 that's right Motore is coming on for Kiefer Moore Jack Stobbs is coming on, and that's right. That's the changes I meant to make. Motore for Kiefer Moore. Jack Stobbs on the right wing. Brad Potts is looking exhausted. Oh, Brad Potts is just going to have to deal with it now. Isn't he? I say let's go positive, lads. Come on. Encourage the team a bit. We want a bigger more. Lancaster's unfit as well. We struggled. We struggled with this match. We haven't got the result. We haven't got the win. But we're champions anyway. Despite the draw, we are champions of the league. And we've done it here at home in front of our fans. They get to see the trophy presentation. So despite the fact that we didn't win and get all three points, the results must have gone our way elsewhere around the league. Because we've done it, lads. in the little post-match tour of the pitch in front of the fans. He didn't play very well. You've sealed the title, but you weren't ultimately that good. You weren't good enough. Grantham win National League title. There we go. We've added our name to the history books. Didn't find much success. The board would like to hold a meeting in order to discuss potentially turning professional. Attend meeting. We would like your opinion on whether the club should look to turn. I think that's a great idea. This will bring the club. We believe it. We are delighted that you agree with our suggestion. We will get started on putting the plans into motion. We believe it's important to stay on good terms with you, so hopefully we can continue to work together to build a positive future for this team. Well, I'll tell you what, Darren. If you want to stay on good terms with me, stop selling my players. 
Stop selling my players. Darren. They have offered me a new contract. Start negotiations. Start date. Uh, they've offered me three years. I actually don't want that much. Um, can I have 5k for that, please? There we go. I'm a reasonable guy. I don't need millions of pounds every week. Make the step up and turn the club fully professional. Board set initial limits. 43.5k per week and a transfer budget of 3.92 million. Whoa. No, we've got a lot to do then. Late and Orient were the last team to win it. Right. I'm very pleased now that plans for the club to turn professional in place. We hope to be able to fish out this by the 12th of the 6th, 2023. Does that mean then that all... Full... We're going to have to rehire everybody, aren't we? Um, to full-time contracts. Signed a new deal. You must be delighted to have signed this deal. Long term success. We are definitely. Thing is, when does when do we lose Bartlett? Transfer deadline today. I'm not going to take part in transfer deadline day because we're not going to be signing anybody now at this point in the season. We're going to wait till the end of the season when Premier League clubs announce who they're um, getting rid of, what players they're letting go. In UK and Ireland. Good. No, we're going to keep him on the um, on the deal, on the down low. I can't believe we signed a player for six million. That's more than we got for Max Robson. Put that in perspective, people. We spent more money on a player than we got for Max Robson, who is a much, much better. Discuss new contract with CZ. Can we offer him a new contract? We probably can. We're going to offer him full time. Not offer him any less. Uh, £160 per week. Why not? Exit talks. Done. Seaside, you have just renegotiated your deal. 
you're going to be out one of the first players on a new contract. Full time. Has agreed a deal to leave the club to join Middlesbrough. He is excited at the prospect of playing in the Skybet Championship. The transfer tank can now be completed. Subject: The transfer may eventually rise to 4.3 million. The transfer will go through on Friday the 9th of June 2023. The board have agreed that 1.1 million will be added to the transfer budget on completion of the deal. Okay, it'll go through on the 9th of June. So he is still available to play for us for the rest of the season. That's okay. So, does that mean we're already full-time training? We're not full-time training yet. Um... Need to start thinking about getting a lot of these players, these these staff members re 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 signed. It's going to take a while to do. National League preview: Yeovil versus Stockport provided top billing, easy victory. Available players for under 18 match. Pretty much most of our new youth intake are on that list. Rame Campbell has passed fitness, but he's only available for 45 minutes. Tactical meeting. Position instructions, team selection, quick pick. So Kiefer Moore's away on international duty. Right, that's going to pose a bit of a problem for us. Then. Uh, Jack Stubbs potentially coming in. Again, we've got Mo. Mo can come on as a striker if we need him. Potts is playing as a box to box. Midfielder in the middle now because of Bartlett's move. Bartlett is still there. Let's play Bartlett. What them two round? Right, let's go. Let's get into this. Might as well make the most of Bartlett while we've got him. You deserve to be in the final. Let's make it happen, lads. Let's make it happen. Scarlet. Oh, he's done his man. Goal. Great solo effort there. Smashed him on the break.
Chris Bennett scores his second for years today. Again, not a lot in attendance for an FA Trophy semi-final second leg. Hmm. A bit for a team that's just been promoted to the second league, you know, it's not good that our attendances aren't blowing the roof off the stadium. He's Bartlett. He plays in Scarlet. Who's hit the post? Captain Scarlet, what are you doing? Ramay. Ramay made it to half time, which was expected of him. Shepherds made it to half time too. Um, Pots is coming on. Oh, everybody's falling off at the minute. <laughs> everybody's dead. But we've made it 3 0, so. That's the best we can really hope for. Goal, 3-1 then. 7-1 on aggregate. I don't think we're going to worry about them scoring a consolation goal. Good thing is we've turned professional. That's the most important part of this series. We have turned professional. Yeah, which means we're going to be able to train seven days a week. Callum Doyle. <laughs> he quickly cancelled out their comeback. Quickly cancelled out the comeback. Why are these players com are they complacent? Dane Scarlet. Oh, it's turning into a romp now. That, that, that goal that they scored kind of was... Um, some of the players have took that personally. There's a bit of an insult, I think, by Barrow. How dare they try and make a comeback? So now suddenly we've gone out there to absolutely kick them in the crackers. <laughs> kick them in the kanakas. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Happy with how this went. We won the first leg and then went on to finish the job here. Perfect, lads. Final FA Trophy. You get to defend it. Nine emails, really. Two thousand one hundred and three, so below half attendance for that match. We're off to Wembley. Twenty one K. We're not gonna rest Bartlett.
Praise him. Praise the shepherd. Praise him. We get to play Woken in the final. They've won it three times. Well, we're going to win it twice. So we're going to be in fine form. Oe Goki has returned from leave from his holiday. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Got a couple of league games to come up now. National League, Waterloo. But you probably don't want to watch that, do you? You probably want to see me playing Tottenham in the FA Cup as the next match in this video. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play the next couple of games off camera. And I'm going to bring you back for the Tottenham game. Because you deserve an FA Cup semi-final video today. So, see you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back everybody. We have advanced to FA Cup semi-final day. But before we go and show you the FA Cup semi-final, just need to run through a quick couple of things. Let's have a look at the schedule. As you can see, following the FA Cup FA Trophy, sorry, semi-final second leg. We've won all our league matches. We were, you know, pretty good at that. Transfer-wise, we have got a few players joining us. Some of the Premier League's um, youth academy rejects, if you like, whatever you want to call them. I've done my usual. Once the Premier League announced the players that were being released, I've gone through and signed the pick of the bunch. So we've got Mitchell Coakley. We've got Oliver Kofi, Lewis McComb, Ricky Smith, two players from Leicester, another player from Tottenham, uh, a player from Watford. So a couple of good signings for us there. Obviously, Dan Bartlett is off to join Middlesbrough. And also, Motore is off to join Blackpool for 130k. So, you know, got a few transfers out as well as bringing some new players in. Uh, staff wise we've got a full contingency of staff now we've gone full time we've been able to sign some more staff members so I've got a few more coaches for the first team some fitness coaches uh, we've still got room for a a scout so we might have to try and sign one of those in the um, summer uh, same for the youth teams the under 23s they've been allowed to have coaches and staff so again, we've got goalkeeping coach, fitness coach, and two coaches for the under-23s now. And I've also got plenty of coaches for the under-18s. Um, we do need to get a fitness coach for them, though. They're lacking in a fitness coach. But other than that, under-18 squad's got a load of coaches. Way more coaches than the under-23s, even though the under-18s don't really have that good a prospect of players. So... Let's waste no time. Let's now get into the FA Cup game that you're all still hanging around in this video for, where we get to play Jose Mourinho's Tottenham. So we're going to go defensive as usual. We're going to go much shorter passing as we've done in the past. Um, team selection wise, uh, I'm going to quick pick it. Campbell and Moore, Robson, Lancaster, Bartlett, Rolls, Mitchell, Doyle, Oyegoki, Seasight. Why is that? Because Jacob Shepard's sadly injured and he's not available for this match because he's got strained li knee ligament. Uh, a couple of other... Brad Potts is also injured. Reme Medford-Smith is suspended, of course. Riley's cup-tied. Um, Conor Mahoney's ineligible because he's played for two teams already this season. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit, um, bit of an iffy one, this. Benny James Ball, Dane Scarlett's on the bench. That's the team we're going with. You'll notice Max Robson's back from his broken leg. <laughs> I thought he was going to be. We'd never see him again this season, but he's recovered from his broken leg, and uh, he's he, he's match fit. So let's try and get him in the uh, in in the team, shall we? Right. Um.
tell everybody I've got faith in them. Right, Tunnel. As the leading scorers in the FA Cup, are you looking forward to another positive match in front of goal? More about just goal scoring. Oh. Can you talk about your relationship? Oh. Trust each other. The special one. The special one. FA Cup semi final at Wembley. It's a massive day for the club. Massive, massive day for the club and everyone involved. Here we are, look. Pre match. Here we go. Match has kicked off. It's going to be tough ass to beat Spurs, isn't it? Maybe we just drag them to penalties like we did United. <laughs> and then hope for the best. We're wearing our Hartchester United colours. And our purple strip. So the chance of being the dream team is, you know, very high. Keith and Moore. Oh. Chance there. We've had four shots, none on target thus far. We now have had one shot on target. <laughs> it's not been a great match so far. If we can get a goal, we'll go out and make it happen, lads. Come on. I don't know whether to change that from defensive to cautious, maybe. See if we can't get a little bit more of a mentality going up the pitch. Mm. Robson's going to be about dumb in a minute, though, looking at his fitness. Oh, Harry Kane! Has scored for Tottenham. Harry Kane. Do I not like Harry Kane? Damn it. Oh, it's one of them soft goals again. One of them flipping soft goals where the goalkeeper just kicks the ball long and the player just... It's like the two centre-backs don't realise there's a bit of the pitch in between them. Nobody covers the middle of the pitch. They mark to the left of them, they mark to the right, but the area between the two central defenders, no one covers. That is so annoying. Right, we're going to have to make some changes because this isn't good enough. Make two. It's a shame. It's a shame that we, well, we don't expect to reach the FA Cup final, do we? You know, we've had a good run, but, you know, we've lost to Tottenham. And that was a disappointing result. We were underdogs. We gave it our best effort, but... Didn't have a light, yeah, we didn't have any substitutes available, really. 
couple of injuries at the wrong time to Shepard and Potts means that We received 973k though. Give him a bit of a kick in the butt. Scouting meeting. There's a few players on the old scouting list. Now we've gone professional. There's a few more players becoming available to us or being recommended to us. Uh, Post-match press conference about to begin. Let's attend the press conference. Okay, let's kick this off with the first Jay Williams from Mundial. You must be bitterly disappointed to have been eliminated from the competition. Do you have any thoughts regarding Marini and Tottenham following the match? Grantham's dream run is over, ending in defeat. What are your immediate thoughts, Poe? We can be very, very happy. He's top class player and really showed it. Rotherham manager spotting the crowd today. It seems just like, what would you be willing? There's no way he's leaving. Mowbray should look elsewhere. Matt. There has been a large full of support from the fans for your eye-catching passing style. Is that something we can continue to expect from you? <sighs> yeah, there we go. We've made a commitment to play in a certain way. What more can I do? What more can we do? We've got a couple of league matches left then this season. I like the fact now we're full time. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, all my staff members are now on full time contract. I renegotiated all my staff contracts. So we are now full time. Some players are full time as well. Some players that I've renewed contracts of. Um, mostly the ones that are now expire in 2028 have all had new contracts. Um, which means they're all full time. I think up to about Dimitri Mitchell. I think the rest of these players I haven't negotiated. Started negotiations with Jack Stobbs, Marcus Muir, David Mackay, James Ball, Jared Bird. Partly because I think they're the types of players that are probably going to be leaving the club. I'm probably going to try and offload them in the summer and bring in some new ones who are less two star and one and a half star and more, you know, three and four star potentials, you know. To help the club in League 2. But yeah, unfortunately, shame to end the video on a slightly sad note. And the fact that we were defeated by Tottenham. But what a fantastic run. To get to the semi-final of the FA Cup as a non-league team is, is an achievement. I cannot wait for uh, next season to see how we improve, really, in League 2. So... As far as videos go now in the series, I'm probably not going to bring you back until the next season. There's very little point you seeing any more of this season because we're promoted. Um, and I'll probably bring you back for pre-season, I suppose, next season, where hopefully I'll have some transfers to show you, some of the transfer deals that we've done, some new players we've brought in, and go through doing the whole pre-season training, fitness um, scheduling, um training scheduling and everything and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed in our fourth season let's try and break um the the bogey that we have where we lose every match at the, the, our opening match of the season we want to do away with that so thank you everybody for watching today's video please go ahead now give me a thumbs up it would be fantastic um, make sure you're subscribed to the channel 
leave your comments in the comment section down below and i'll see you all again very very soon with the next video in the series where we will be league two league two football club and professional the rise of the gingerbreads continues everybody take care of yourselves stay safe goodbye for now cheerio